brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. We're going to go to the phone lines where there's Tony in Rochester, New York. What's going on, Tony? Hi. Hey. Um, <clears throat> so um, I'm calling because uh, I, I am quite a bit in debt. Uh, it's gotten to a point where after I pay my bills and subscriptions and things that I got going on, um, it's the, the amount of uh, credit card that I got, it's pretty much takes over the rest of the paycheck. Mm. And, um, and we're trying to manage it. Um, I'm looking at options I mean, consider, you know, sold a car, considering maybe selling a house. <laughs> a house? Uh, Do you have more than the, one? The, no, the, the house. The, the house. house. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yep. Selling the house. Um, and, uh, maybe using that to bring them down. I owe, I, I make about a hundred thousand a year. And, uh, is that including your wife? I owe about, what's that? Is the hundred thousand including your wife? No, it's just me. Just you. Does she work outside the well, house? Well, I, I, that, that's the, our household. I'm, uh, okay. she's, she's, she's at home. Okay. And, okay. um, I, I'm the one that's working outside. And how much credit card debt um, do you guys have? We got about 126. 126,000 in credit card debt. Yeah. And what's yeah. so, Tony? So yeah, no, you know, it's okay. I, I can hear it in your voice, Tony. I mean, it's um that's hard. That's really hard. What caused what, what was the, the reason for that? Well, um I was out of work for, for a year trying to figure out different things. I attempted uh some things on my own as well. I weren't able, wasn't able to make enough uh to to get us uh out out of you know to, to be able to sustain us for a long time, start mm-hmm. getting in debt, uh, start getting uh, credit cards okay. to be able to manage, uh, uh, you know, yeah. uh, until I, I finally got a job. And, and then it's grown because once, once I guess there's a point of <laughs> you have enough debt, the payment get it to uh, get you to a point where you can't make it's it's what's left is not enough. So you you got to yeah. continue getting more in debt, yeah. more and more and more. And we haven't so been able long. to manage reducing the expenditures enough. Yeah. To, um, so, how long have you been in this stop. in this job that you're in now? How long has it been? About about a, about a year. Okay. Year so, when did you decide? When was the point for you that you were like, I, I got to do something different. This isn't, this isn't working. Well, as soon as I'm looking at the numbers, I mean, two years ago, a year. Well, for a while, we've been wanting to do something, but it's okay. uh, it's become quite urgent now. So yeah. we're trying to figure out. How much are you paying every down. month? How much are you paying every month towards these credit cards? Probably three thousand five hundred, a little more. A thousand five hundred. Three three thousand five. Oh, three thousand five hundred. Okay, and is that's that the minimum payments? That's the minimum <laughs> payments. Wow. Yeah. And you mentioned a car. Um, yeah. Is it? Tell me about the car situation. So we have two cars. Um, one of them, I ended up having to spend quite a bit in repairs and things like that. And I said, well, you know what? Um, I, I got it fairly nice, but um, I didn't want to continue. And and so I have another car that's uh, newer, and it's in good shape. I I I don't. I mean, I I own loans on them. So, so um, can I? Sorry, I, just I to only clarify. Have the one car right now at this point. I okay. The so up. there's one car. The the car that you said you didn't want to, you know, continue with. What did you do with it? Do you still own it? Does it just need the repairs? Oh, sold it. You sold it. Sold it. Yeah. Okay. So now you're a one car family. There's one car family for now. Yeah. Okay. And the car that you have. What do you owe on it, and what's it worth? It's it's uh, it, I owe about thirty thousand okay. on it. It's probably worth the same amount, maybe a little more. It's fairly newer, so it's kind of okay. The loan's a little over what the that car is worth. So if I were to sell it, I don't know that I'll get my money back. <laughs> so, yeah, you'd be no. underwater in it. And, um, and there's no, you yeah. have no savings. I'm assuming nothing saved anywhere. Not a, well, just a little bit, and I and, and uh, for one, keep very little. Okay, Uh, that's uh, off limits. What I want to ask about, um, sorry, I'm going to pry, like I'm putting my crowbar in and I'm prying out. Um, Your wife's a stay-at-home mom? Yeah. How many kids do you have? She's actually on the line, too, she's she's hearing hearing us. Oh, oh, hey, girl. Hi. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Hi. Hi. (laughs) Hey, so you're staying at home, you're doing, you know, you're doing some heavy lifting. Um, How many kids are you watching and, and taking care of? Three. Three. And what's their ages? We're uh, already the, the our oldest one is eleven. Uh-huh. Uh, Andrea is eight, and the uh, the youngest one is six. Okay, so when I'm listening to that, I'm hearing school aged kids, which is great because that daycare yeah, you know bill is not a thing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. my question is, 
and you know i'm 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 going around this delicately but i think there's room that you can work as well because right now oh, yeah. the oh, most yeah, money that you can bring yeah. in is what's going to break this cycle yes 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 i'm just trying to to make smart choices uh like i was telling him it's just difficult to to sit down sorry and like mm -hmm. a, a search, you know, like a search for a job that mm -hmm. uh, it's prudent in terms of uh, knowing the, the hours, minimum per hour. And yeah. just with one car right now, we uh, are managing. So he takes the car for the most part right now, or or if not the bus. Uh -huh. uh, it, it is a bit difficult. But yeah, that, that is my main goal. Yeah. Well, I always I'm say also, get... I always say get a job until you get the job because right now, okay. literally anything you do is going to help you guys out. Yeah. If you drop the kids yeah. off and go work at a bakery, you mm -hmm. know, for anything. You know, whatever it is, like go, yeah, doing something because, um, and what's your name? Can I ask? We have Tony and. And uh, Inez. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not that I haven't tried. I, I've actually I believe tried sure, to, sure. to come up like with uh, on the side job, like a uh, staging. Uh, yeah. Because here's the deal, I, you guys. I, I, I know Tony had mentioned, or at least it's here on our screen. Uh, one of your biggest questions was debt consolidation. And yeah, here's yeah. what here's I what I want to. Okay. So, so here's the deal, you guys. What's going to fix this issue is you guys. It's not rearranging mm -hmm. this credit card debt and trying to find a lower interest rate. That's not your problem. The problem is, is that you guys lived a cycle with your money that got you in this problem and in this mess. But mm -hmm. the beautiful thing is, yes, you were the ones that got yourselves in this mess, but you're the ones that's going to get yourselves out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so listen to each other because this is the stress point because you're starting to make that turn of saying, we're going to do something differently. She's looking mm -hmm. for a job. You've sold a car. I mean, you guys are feeling this tension. You're starting to make these choices. You're getting in the right direction. So stay on the same team because Tony's not feeling great about himself. And when I heard you, when, when you, mm -hmm. I heard your voice immediately, Tony, I thought he's caring so much. There's a lot of shame. Yes. There's a lot of guilt that you feel, Tony, like this was my responsibility. I tried taking care of my family and this is what I got us in. She is supportive. She sounds wonderful, you know, know and, and she's yes. wanting to help. But but you guys together, you have to work as a team and stay on the line because Austin's going to pick up and we're going to give you Financial Peace University and Every Dollar Premium, which is our budgeting mm -hmm. app. And you guys sit down together, go through these lessons, learn the basics because debt consolidation, that's not going to be your answer. Yeah, not the option. You are your answer. You guys can do this. We take these calls every day. And hear people that do their debt-free screams. I mean, Jade is a living testimony of this. Of you guys can do this. It's going to take a long time. It's a lot of sacrifice, mm -hmm. but it is possible. So I'm so glad you guys called today, and we we wish you nothing but the best. You guys can do this. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.